and are excited and all right. that. And it's then you'd be like, yeah, oh, I've been here my whole life. Like, exactly. whatever. It really was just a feel. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, uh, that's, this is where we walk. But it's nothing in there. So it's just a tattoo shop. Yeah. <laughs> no, for real, I've been in there. It's just a tattoo shop. Oh, wow. Yeah, it is. It looks like it'd be a church or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's a tattoo and piercing shop. Yeah. Oh wow! No, because they had the weed. Um, yeah, no, I was you know, thinking of a label. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I was I'm thinking like, it, it was a pot shop at first. Right. But uh, it wasn't. Right. It wasn't. I think they've actually. I think they've had that that neon weed sign for years. I um, think. Wow. I mean, well, you would know. You've seen the changes yeah, that they had, that's right? True. That is very true. They just have it's like. Been, um, it's been here for so long. They just have like yeah. pipes in there and whatever. Yeah, they do sell, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they do sell, wow. like all the paraphernalia. Yeah, that's it. Like, hide what it's for now. Yep. Oh, wow. Before it was legalized, you know, they'd be like, oh, it's for like hookah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Whatever. Sure. Yeah. 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 And he said um, he had a bad trip that like for four days he didn't could eat couldn't do any of that stuff. Wow. And then um, he said, "Listen, I gave him drinking, I gave him everything slowly." I said, "I commend you, you know. That's very hard, you know." Yeah, that's pretty hard for drinking. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it, it's good to hear from folks like that because then it, it gives you the courage to say, "I'm never gonna do that." <laughs> You live once, you know. You got, you gotta, you gotta enjoy yourself, you know. I That's mean, when you're young, yeah. you're not thinking about these things, you know. You're just having fun. Right. So, yeah, man. Las Vegas. So, have you been anywhere else besides Vegas? Uh, like lived anywhere, or just traveled, or? Or both, probably yeah, both. both. Uh, the only place I've lived was uh, LA. Oh, wow, Los Angeles. You like it there? <laughs> yeah, girl, I was four, so I was, I was super, super young, and I have a lot of memories of California, but yeah. I do love to visit California. Nice. I think I could ever live there. But... <laughs> oh, wow. Is, is it similar, or no? Like, the shark? Um, not really. It's definitely, I mean, it's still pretty warm there in Southern California, but it's definitely, like, they used to have humidity out here, oh. like, what's that? Oh, yeah, because there's no yeah. humidity here. Yeah. So if it is, it's, oh god, oh wow. Yeah, it's definitely in Southern California. It's, it's more green than it is out here. Wow. So out here, it's just like it's it's like a peaceful. It, I get the feeling that it's very peaceful. There's a lot of resorts, a lot of hotels. You know. That's good. That's good. But there was like one Uber driver who told me, hey, listen, you gotta have a dog or a shotgun to live in one area. I said, a shotgun? Really? Yeah, I mean, wow. You gotta be careful sometimes. Oh wow! You wouldn't expect it because uh, you know, from if you're from coming from somewhere else, in hindsight, it's like, okay, this is nice, this is very tourist, but there's still, they, you know, they're, they're parts, the little fragments. Oh wow! Oh wow! <laughs> but it feels good to so be in Vegas. So what do you do for fun now? Just work. Yeah. Gotta do. Do what you I gotta do. I am kind of a body. I just like to stay off, watch TV, make me too I'm lazy. I'm so lazy. Hey, listen. Do what you gotta do. Stay out of trouble. You know. It's true. Yeah. Because these days, where people try to keep up with the young folks, the young folks got it now. You know, I was with my niece, nephews and nieces, like how many weeks ago, and it's like, oh my god. Wow. <laughs> you keep up with? Yeah, they make you feel old. Like, oh my God, I know I'm not that old, but yeah. wow. So, is there um, is there a wing stop on this trip? Um, probably. I know we have a bunch here in Vegas. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I would say there probably is one. Yeah. Mm. Oh wow, yeah. That's pretty good. Gold Market Center. What is that? I wonder what that is. It looks epic. Man. 
<laughs> oh, that building right there? Yeah. It's actually... Oh, you would know. You would have it since you were four. <laughs> I mean, funny enough, because of how huge it is, it's actually a furniture showroom. Wait, what? Yeah. It's <laughs> a giant building just full of furniture for sale. Wow. Yeah, wow. It's, it's pretty crazy. But that's a big thing. It's a big deal. Yeah. Yeah, wow. I mean, I'm guessing they provide furniture for, like, every hotel and casino out here. Yeah. <laughs> but business, it's, it's business. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Well, that's good. You're a historian. You've been here for, since you were four, so you would know. Yeah. I just like my lady name. She's been um in Williamsburg since she was eight years old. Oh, wow. So she's been here a whole time, the whole life, you know. Yeah. Oh man, you gotta visit New York though. It's it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. I've, I've been right. to New York City once. Okay, so yeah. you've been there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just the city. We didn't see anything else in the state. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, oh wow! City. Drastically changed. Oh wow! Drastic yeah. change, you know. It was like, oh, yeah, it's been 11 years now since we went, so that is a long time for a city to change <laughs> over a decade. Completely different. Like the rent has gone up. Everyone is um up in helms, you know, just up in arms. Excuse me, up in arms because the cost of living has gone up. The job market. People are fighting for the unions, so unions is kind of big now in New York City. So there's a lot, a lot of activity going on, you know. It's crazy though. It seems like every city is getting more expensive. Even here in Vegas, you know, we're still our mm. cost of living is still pretty cheap, but even we're going up. Mm. Spiky. Yeah, I heard your rent is like like six, seven hundred. Um, for like an average, like one bedroom. Yeah. 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 Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you one thing. Um, where I work at, for one bedroom, um, where I work at, it's like three grand. Wow. <laughs> that sounds about so, right for New York. Yeah. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. So, but the only thing, is the job market okay here? Was it kind of hard? Kind of the Uber told me it's so kind of, okay, okay, okay. Um, good. Good, um, good. Um, like if you do work in the service industry, do anything hospitality. There's hospitality, actually like plenty of work good. for that, but it's super competitive. Like, I can see because like I, I was walking down the um I, I work um I stay at the Silver um Seven in the hotel, and um there's nothing but hotels. And I was walking around, I was like hotels. I was like, where, where's the, <laughs> where's the scenery? Except right. for the strip, you know. Exactly. So it's like that's what it is. That's the whole scenery we got. Right, right. So I can see why why it's so competitive because everyone. I was telling people like the strip they make it seem like on the internet like.